Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to WorldCom Edu Easy House Story Series. My name is Brian Stewart and we're taking a look at a group storytelling project by children, by kids. And this is a unique project in that we're taking a look at 25 different famous stories in English literature and the stories are broken down into different parts and each kid will read a part of the story and together we can listen to the entire story. Now of course all of these stories are presented in easy to learn and easy to use English so uh, all the students can easily pick up and understand the story and it's also very interesting to read these stories because there's a lot of good lessons in each story. For example we're taking a look at Goldilocks and the Three Bears in this lesson and we're going to listen to various students talk about this story but what are the lessons of Goldilocks? Goldilocks of course is a very famous story you have probably heard about it before but it's a little girl who gets lost and she finds a house and she just walks in without knocking or asking for permission and she tries different things of course there are many lessons or morals to this story one of which of course is that you shouldn't uh, you should respect the property of other people. You shouldn't just destroy it or use it and throw away. Another lesson is that each person is unique. Everybody comes in different shapes and sizes and we all have different things that we need. And even if we find something that uh, is not suited particularly to us, we should still treat it with respect. That might be important for other people. Those are just two of the lessons of this world famous story. Maybe you can find some more as we listen to the story. So let's listen to the kids, read parts of the story. Let's learn some English. Let's also think about the life lessons we can learn from this story. Take care. Okay, let's begin. of Goldrux and Three Bear. Goldrux is a little girl. She lives with her mother. One day, her mother says, Goldrux, go to the store. Buy two muffins and some bread. Goldrux says, okay. Her mother says, be careful, don't go through the forest. But Goldrux walks through the forest. She isn't afraid. The three bears live in a little house in the forest. Father bear, mother bear, and three bear. In the bear's house, there are three chairs. A big chair for father bear, a smaller chair for mother bear, and a little chair for baby bear. There are three balls on the table, a big ball for father bear, a smaller ball for mother bear, and a little ball for baby bear. There are three beds in the bedroom, big bed for father bear, a smaller bed for mother bear, and a little bed for baby bear. Page 7 the three bears sit at the table. They eat the porridge. The porridge is too hot. Father bear says, This porridge is hot. Mother bear says, The porridge is too hot. We can't eat it now. Let's go for a walk. So the three bears go for a walk in the forest. Goldilocks walks through the forest. She walks and walks. She sees a house. This is the bear's house. She knocks on the door. Knock, knock. She opens the door. She says, 
Hello, is anyone home? No one is home. She sees three bowls of porridge on the table. She eats the porridge in the big bowl. She says, "Too hot." She eats the porridge in the smaller bowl. She says, "Too cold." She eats the porridge in the little bowl. She says, "Just right." So she eats the porridge in the little bowl. Goldilocks sits three chairs. She sits in the big chair. She says, "Too hard." She sits in the smaller chair. She says. Too soft. She sits in the little chair. She says, "Just right." But Goldilocks is bigger than Baby Bear, and the chair breaks. Page twelve. Goldilocks is tired. She walks up the stairs. She sees three beds. She sleeps in the big bed. She says, "Too high." She sleeps in the smaller bed. She says, "Still too high." She sleeps in the little bed. She says, "Just right." Just then, the three bears come home. The little bowl is empty. Baby bear says. My porridge, my bowl is empty. Baby bear is angry. The three bears see the chairs. The chairs are on the floor. Baby bear says, "Where is my chair? Look, it is broken." Baby bear sees his broken chair. And he begins to cry. The three bears go upstairs. Baby bear says, "Somebody is in my bed." Father bear says, "Who are you?" Goldilocks wakes up. She sees the three bears. Father bear, mother bear. And baby bear. Page seventeen. Goldilocks is afraid. She gets up quickly. Goldilocks says, "I am sorry." Father bear says, "Don't be afraid. We don't want to eat you." Goldilocks jumps out of bed. Baby bear says, "Come back and play with me," but Goldilocks runs all the way home. The three bears never see Goldilocks again. Mother bear makes new porridge for baby bear. Father bear makes a new chair for baby bear. Baby bear is happy. He is happy to have new porridge. He is happy to have a new chair.